Coming up, our most expensive piece of kit breaks down. We go off-roading in the Forest of Dean and make camp in a pub garden. From the top to the bottom of the island we call home. Good morning. It's day number 26. 26. We had a very good night here on a very, very nice flat spot with grass and the grass was really nice and soft and the sun was shining this morning so our tent is dry and now we are going to Asta. <laughs> so we have about 30 k's to Asta where we at first try to to get the drone working again because our drone uh, stopped working yesterday night we had actually a very nice spot here and we wanted to show you but the drone suddenly stopped working <laughs> so we have to sort out this now and hope for the best goodbye canal goodbye canal goodbye we were really really peaceful and nice home it was really really lovely for the last six days but now we have a new mission and that is to head west and you are no longer required. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. After saying goodbye to our beloved home for the past six days, we continued our journey southwest towards Gloucester. Quite a few nice ones up there. Oh. Mm. <laughs> more, 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 more. Okay, guys, enjoy the rest of your trip. Keep safe. Happy time. <laughs> hey, -hoo! Good luck on your trip from the Toby Carvery Worcester. You're welcome anytime to camp in our grass. <laughs> We had arrived in historic Gloucester, a city with a rich heritage dating back to Roman times. We cycled around its charming streets, marvelling over the beautiful buildings that must have stood for nearly 1,000 years. And stopped by the docks, Britain's most inland port, and a showcase of the city's proud industrial heritage. One building, however, stands above the rest as the city's most impressive attraction. The magnificent Gloucester Cathedral was built in 1100 and has been both a wedding venue and final resting place of kings and a Harry Potter filming location. Unfortunately it was closed so we could only enjoy its wonder from the outside. But it was still a very impressive final stop on our city cycle tour. Good evening. 
We are in a forest. Is this our first time in a forest? I think so, yes. Well, look at us. <laughs> in a forest. Close to the motorway, but in the forest. We, we've been close to the motorway since day one. <laughs> Just imagine it's a calm river. The sound of flowing water. <laughs> The first time actually <laughs> we can do a little bit exercise in the morning because we had a really good night of sleep and so we could wake up this morning a little bit earlier than normally. Look at this, hey? So nice. Ready for a big, big cycle day. Namaste. So we had a situation over the last couple of days with our drone. The gimbal motor seems to have stopped working. Um, we tried to fly it a couple of days ago to show where we had camped, which was really lovely. But um, yeah, the camera was just sort of, sort of stuck and wobbling in one position. And I sort of, we reset it and we tried to readjust the gimbal, recalibrate it and was always just getting stuck so yeah that's a bit of a bummer we obviously don't have time really to get it repaired um, as we're going along so instead we've got our gimbal's new little brother so this is the Mavic Pro and then this one is the Mavic Mini look how small it is look how tiny it is this one we just bought brand new um, just because I really wanted us to still be able to, to fly the drone and get drone shots of, of some of the amazing places that we're going through. So the footage from now on will be from the Mavic Mini instead. So, yep, let's see how we get on. After enjoying our first forest camp of the trip, we were now headed for another forest. Forest of Dean! We're in the forest! Hey! The Forest of Dean. Just trying to avoid the pine trees. So this will be our biggest forest of the trip. Hopefully a big highlight where we can ride through loads of awesome forest. Now I'm very excited to be here. This is wonderful. The Forest of Dean is one of the surviving ancient woodlands of England. It's a timeless landscape of forest, rivers, hills and valleys, and the first park of England to be designated as a national forest. Reserved as an area for royal hunting before 1066, it remains the second largest crown forest in the country. Today, the forest is home to a wide variety of wildlife, including many species of deer and even wild boar. After the many towns and cities we had been through in the last week crossing the heart of England, we were definitely looking forward to exploring this wild and beautiful woodland. Cycling in the forest Cycling in the forest. We're looking for the family cycle trail. Yeah! Because we think it might be quite easy. A lot of the trails could be mountain bike trails. So we're heading for the family cycle trail, which should be just about the right level for us. Whee! Just rolling all the way through, hey?
after leaving the Forest of Dean, we had just crossed over an unassuming bridge, when suddenly, all the signs around us stopped making sense. We had, of course, entered Wales. Welcome to Wales! But alas, just as soon as we had arrived, it was time to leave again, as our route lay south across the Severn Bridge and on to the southwest, the final leg of our journey. That's awesome! Look at this! That's a great cycle track! Oh, amazing! Goodbye Wales! That's cool. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. It is the end of our fourth week on the John O'Groats to Lamb's End Trail. We are waiting for the end. <laughs> so after four weeks sitting on our bicycles, day in, day out, we have just crossed the bridge over to the southwest. <clears throat> it's literally just here. We're just camping right next to the bridge. So that means we still have about maybe 500 kilometers to go. So probably it's gonna be another 10 days from now. <laughs> maybe 12. Um, I'm still not sure how I feel about this whole cycling thing. That's really tough. That's really tough. It is a, I really... It's a crazy thing for people to do. And it's still really exhausting. It still doesn't get easier on the hills. <laughs> we have relatively lightweight yeah. setups weighing about 35 kilo all in bicycle mm -hmm. and gear mm -hmm. each. And that's pretty lightweight. We see, we know that people are cycling with 50 or 60 kilo. We still struggle to get ourselves over, say, 50 kilometers in a day. There always mm -hmm. seems to be some hill. <laughs> you always, always have to stop. Yeah, the, there always seems to be some obstacles. And we then, take our jacket off and then we take it on again and then yeah. we want to drink something. And, and then and especially when we have to do, when we've got to do some shooting as well. So we want to be flying the drone. We want to be yeah. doing stuff like that. So <laughs> And then after three hours, you, you look, Oh, we, we, we made 10 Ks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I thought we would be closer to the end by now, after four weeks. We still haven't taken a day off since, um, since way up in Fort William, because mm -hmm. of COVID, there's so many campsites that are closed. We've had mm -hmm. a lot of trouble finding places. Yeah. So. so actually at the end, we didn't find any, and we just wild camped the whole time. <laughs> we paid for one campsite yeah. in Abington in Scotland. Scotland's highest village. Yeah, and still camping around the UK is amazing. It's been really good so far. We've always find a nice, always uh, grassy, a nice spot. flat uh, camp spot, and the locals around they're always so curious and asking you questions. And it's really nice to talk to them. And the whole camping um, situation is awesome. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of why we do it. Really, is yeah. you find yourself in all these beautiful places to be able to camp and. It's kind of like we cycle, but we do it for when we're not cycling. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, I'm still confident that we're going to get to the end. I mean, mm -hmm. we can't not get to the end no, now. I think no yeah. matter what comes ahead, I no, think it's we, quite, you know, we we're just going to plug at it. We're just going to get there, get to the end. So let's see how it goes over the next 10 days. Peace and love. Peace and love. Next time, we inadvertently free some cows, taste cheddar in cheddar, and hike up Britain's deepest gorge. If you enjoyed watching this video, you would help us a lot by subscribing to the channel by clicking here. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We will see you next time. <laughs>